Okay, welcome back to <laughs> Is It Worth the Hype, where I read all the best-selling books so you don't have to, and then with a little liquid courage, I let you know if they're worth your time. <laughs> Unless you completely ignore YA book hype, uh, you will have heard of this little book, The Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. Everybody's been talking about this, and at the moment of this recording, it is currently number three on the New York Times bestseller list for YA and children's books. And it already has a movie deal. All this from a debut novel. A debut! But with anything this huge, we have to ask ourselves, is it worth the hype? It is. So Children of Blood and Bone is a YA fantasy novel, but unlike most that we're used to, in the States. Uh, it is not based in Anglo-Saxon lore, it is based in African culture. So this novel is told from the perspective of three characters. It is a tri-perspective novel, though one character sort of rises to the top as being the main character, and her name is Zelly. And Zelly is one of the people in the world of the novel who has been blessed by the gods to be able to wield magic. And she has to go on an epic quest to fight an oppressive regime and restore magic to the land. But is it worth the hype? So let's get some nitpicky negatives out of the way first. There are a few things in this novel that sort of mark it, in my opinion, as a debut. For example, the characters keep repeating all of their plans to themselves over and over again in their heads. They keep going, okay, I have to do this, and then this, and then this, and then I shall win the day. And maybe we do this in real life, we go over our plans in our mind all the time, but as a reader, it gets a little bit tedious having to read that over and over again. Also, a main part of the quest deals with gathering magical objects, and to me that felt a little bit video gamey. There's even a couple parts in this book where they sort of beat a mini boss before going on with the rest of the quest. So that's just personally kind of a, a little a little nitpicky thing for me that I get a little bit annoyed by in books. Your mileage may vary on that. And if I'm to be completely honest, some of the characters' motivations flip-flop quite a bit and quite easily. And towards the end, when the plot is really starting to ramp up, the tri-perspective starts to get a little unbalanced. You definitely hear more from some characters than others. But with all that out of the way, I will definitely say that Children of Blood and Bone gets my worth the hype stamp of approval. Really good fantasy not only transports us to another world, but it also holds up a mirror to reflect our own society. This book does that really well. You'll be going along, uh, enjoying the adventure, and then all of a sudden the author will just drop a, a major truth bomb on you and you'll go, whoa, wait a second. Another thing that the book achieves really well is the high stakes. Many authors will pull their punches and Adeyemi does it not do that. You get the sense that these characters may not win. There's actual peril. There's actually, there's actual things at stake here. And you really feel that every step of the way. You never go, oh, this is just, you know, an action scene for the hell of it. They'll get out at the other end just fine. No, you never feel that. You're on the edge of your seat the majority of this book. This is the beginning of a planned trilogy. And You'll have to decide for yourself whether the ending wraps up in a satisfying manner. I found it a little abrupt, but it definitely has me longing, longing for the next book in the series. So is it worth a read? Absolutely. But the choice is yours and yours alone. I brought you this far. The rest is up to you. Happy reading, nerds. It'll be okay. I can wait a year. I can wait a year for the second book. It'll be fine. It'll be perfectly fine. What's 365 days? It's nothing. It's a blink. It's nothing at all.